Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Stellaris Utopia. Last time we had that Tree of Life, that was pretty good. We'll see if we find anything else. Up. So, you know what, we're about to, hey! I was going to say, we'll find more anomalies. We're about to hit level 5, I think he just did hit level 5, yeah. Which means we can go research in this area. That'll be 0% failure risk, complete. so that's perfect. We can get all the things. All the things that we want. So we have five more Corvettes on the way. We want lots of lots of cruisers, really, is where that comes down to. Lots of cruisers. Familiar Shrine. Ah, the shrines to the old gods. Yes. I have seen this one before. A looking we shall go. Situation log updated. We entered the Ophelia system. It's crew report. The cellar object not unlike the shrine. The untold or resolved. Good. Good, good, good. Go research this while our scientist is still technically alive. 64. Yeah. Research that, please. Well, you really just... The Guela Prime Sector is really devouring minerals here. We'll, we'll tax you guys on minerals. You guys seem to be just fine on minerals. Let's see. Dra oh, wow. You can drain their stockpiles. That's cool. 75% of their stockpile. That's just, that's a lot. Wow. See, that's nice. I'm glad they finally implemented in ways to work with your sectors a little bit more. Because it was just like a drain before. A drain on the Empire and slowed the game down. But now you can just straight up steal all their resources. So let's, let's do this the proper way. Go to Zuracorp. Trade for minerals. Drain what we have. And then go build more cruisers. Five here, and then five here. Beautiful. And then we open up this sector. Right here. And siphon everything out. And we'll buy... Even more minerals. Situation log updated. Cool. We just keep finding more stuff because our ships are all flying around. Uh, and then we can do more destroyers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do forty more corvettes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. More Corvettes. More cruisers. What do we actually research here? Synth leaders. Yay! That's important. We can do cruiser assembly yards. That actually would be relevant to what we need. Let's do that. Zentaris Black Hole plus nine science for physics research. Sweet. That is so good. There is peddling radiation. That's so good. Okay. Do we need to... There's a project there. Go research that project. Huh. Uh, construction ship. Gosh dang it. Come here. You are way out there. Go build a research station out here. That's useful. Okay, so you're researching that. We have to research out here. Just want to get these projects nice and taken care of. What? No. I'm glad you're interested. But no. What's up? Hyperdrive 3. That's a big deal. X-ray lasers, advanced shields. Ah, both important. Let's get the better damage. That's what I'm going with. The better damage. 
Oh, the League of Penthal have fully embraced xenophilic actions. It just occurred to me, I can't actually get to these guys. Hey, construction ship. If you could get me the Burr Sector, that would be fantastic. Except, that's already a thing thing in Zoldior. Um, yeah, I'm still going to be your patron. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So this disband and build a frontier outpost in Zoldior. Special project complete. Hey, Shrine of the Percipient. Cool. Not long after they had the ceiling, walls, floor, imagined in a spiral pattern, text about the shrines, held with peace all together. Okay. So we're looking to piece everything all together. Whoops. Uh, do, do, do. Where is this? Right there. We need to survey the Muffred system as well. So go there. Man, we have a lot of ships moving. <laughs> So what happens when you suddenly have a just a buttload, absolute buttload of things that you're allowed to build? How many cruisers do we have? The answer is a lot. I know that. Go ahead and upgrade our ships. Uh, I know we're not using Hyperdrive 3. The power isn't really there unless we dump afterburners. So I'm not super concerned about it for now. Besides, any war that we would start would be fairly small in scale. For now. Anyways, for now. Uh, let's go open our sectors. Why did you... Did I never set the Guela Prime sector? Thought I did. Whatever, it's fine. Um, have some minerals. Research complete. I have two other sectors I can draw on if I want to. Cruiser assembly yards, yay. Uh, let's grab that battleship. Spaceport level and all that. So, let's see. You. Incoming Third one gets the cruiser assembly yard. What? Early Amor for Jackal. Great. Tell you what. Tell you what. I will give you wormhole station access. Really, more and your antichrist. You don't care about your antichrist. You care about your really more for a, a, for all your research, basically. All your research, and I want from you active sensor link and. I would say minerals, but I don't think you're willing to part with those. Yeah, you don't really have any minerals. So I'll take your credits, and then I can buy minerals with them. Eh, 2,000's fine. So yeah, they have a lot of tech that we don't. That's for Aurelium Ore. Do you really do care about Wormhole Station access? No, not at all. Not in the slightest. I'll give it to you anyways. That's fine. Okay, Cinematis Republic, enjoy that. You're fighting the Fennel Coalition, so I will happily support any war effort against them. Liga Penthal, Cinematis Republic, and Mari Union. Yo, Mari Union. How do you feel about your antic crystals? Really don't care about them. How do you feel about research agreements? Really don't care about that either. We already, we, I think we already have a research agreement is what's up. Maybe this will be a, a re-up on it. If I give you minerals. There. And we'll do 30 years. I'll just re-up early and uh, hopefully we'll be good. Do you care about your anti-crystals? You do. Well, what if crazy idea I gave you some minerals to help your war effort 1800 yes that's fair 
Sure. Enjoy your minerals. And Zuracorp, I'd really like to go ahead and buy some minerals from you. All right. Aha! They accept. You're just like all in the way. You accept. And you accept. Very good. The spice must flow, Rig and Spice. Let it flow. Yes, we also want Zura Gel. It's all very useful. In the meantime, we get to see a whole lot of sensors. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys get craft on. They might be. <laughs> after, day, after days of activities, it can be best termed fiddling. Science officers retrieve the Doctrine of Undaunted, a textile scroll with a sturdy plastic polymer. Fascinating. Simply fascinating. All right. Let's get more cruisers. Because at this point, we need to dump minerals. And we're producing nearly 800 while... I think we need to not, we need to stop building ships for a sec, because we're about to just destroy Situation our cap. Updated. Approaching the Benefactress. Go, go, go. Alright, so you're in the Murf Mufford system. Research. And then survey. Alright. What happened? Oh, good. Which means the Capitolian Confederacy is now even weaker than they were before. Let's complete. pause for a sec. Um, okay, you are in Zoldlore. We're, honestly, this should easily take over Burr. And your fleet, it was last we saw, was back here. So let's pull. Are you guys still? Oh, you're waiting in Costa Mog. Uh, just don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Let's do a declaration right now. We have to fight the Capitolian Confederacy and the Camarian Commonwealth. The Camarian Commonwealth doesn't matter. They're too far away to matter. And what they have is... Oh, they have warp drive. But they can't leave their little bubble. So I don't care about them. But I could declare war on you to... Vassalize the Camarian Commonwealth. And... Not quite both. But I can vassalize the Camarian Commonwealth. Which really is kind of irrelevant. But I'll take it. Um, and then I want to take Shoal. The Shoal system. Absolutely. The uh, Daranma system is relevant. They have Kepta and Wodriax. Neither of which I could easily get access to. So then, with 25 left, I mean, we could include the stop atrocities. Yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's, that's good. I like that. So, confirm while they are weak. We have declared war. We indeed have declared war. It's about time. It's been a long time. But we're going to push out the border to Burr so we can get over there, invade Shoal and Daranma. Do we even have an army? Yeah, we do. We do. It's a god-awful army, but we have one. So, get over here. Where are you even? Way out here. You're just, you're just oh my gosh, you're all the way manward. <laughs> Uh, I should have upgraded their their hyperdrive first. That's all right. Now they have an upgraded hyperdrive for the next time. So we pissed off more of our factions by declaring war because we've been pacifist for so complete. long. But that's fine. Construction complete. Okay, so construction ship is done. I think. 
Get this mining station out of here. Get this mining station out of here. This doesn't need to be in here. Right here. This mining station. Get rid of that. I'm busy. Where are you? What are you? Oh, you're in Xantaris. That's what you're doing. Well, okay. The nine physics research was imp was actually pretty important, but <laughs> I thought for whatever reason you were in Zoltlor. Whatever. You go do your thing. It's fine. Construction complete. Special project complete. Very good. So. <sighs> We have revelation about the old gods, the complete doctrine of the gods, for that is what the recovered texts have been regarded as, dwarfing the fairy tale scraps upon which the old Haspel of religions were founded, is as shockingly relevatory as it is revolutionary. With only a little bit of creative interpretation, it is clear that the people of the Haspel were meant for great things, guided by the strong hand of a religious leader. Our path is one to godhood, but our past is littered with prophecies unfulfilled, and sin born of ignorance. Redemption is ephemeral. So we can suppress them and gain a little bit of influence. We can monetize them and gain some credits, which is not bad. We can learn from it and get research, which is less than one month worth of research. Or we can get unity and become spiritualist. I don't really want to be spiritualist, honestly. I like materialist. It's good. Robot maintenance cost reduced is really useful. I would like the unity, but we can pass on that. We'll take, I guess, the society research. It's less than a month worth of society research, but it's research, and we don't really need any of the other things, so... There we go. One month of research. That's fine. It's just one more thing that we were going to do along the way anyways, so it's fine. Um, did, we, did we build... I forget. Did we build a training center for military on any of these planets? That's something I actually don't remember. And from what I'm seeing so far, the answer is no. What I'm looking at is the, the counts underneath. Because the if we build... A uh, army training station of sorts, then uh, there Research won't complete. be a count on that tile. It'll just be a, a blank tile. I think the answer is no. X ray laser, yay. Advanced combat rules seems pretty useful. Okay. So, oh, we've maxed on minerals, so pause for a sec. You have eight excess. Perfect. Let's replace... Uh, yeah, replace this one. We could do an art monument, that's true. Um, military Academy. Oh, it produces... So actually, I need to be looking for the society and tech or and um, engineering being on the same tile. So we might already have one of these somewhere. We find society and engineering on the same tile. It's because, again, it's, it's... There we go. Right here. Military Academy on Epsilon Iridani Prime. Epsilon. Whatever. The Continental World. Because what we could build is... I think robotic armies? So the Android Assault Army. Do we not have synths here? Or are we not allowed to build synth armies? We might not be allowed to build synth armies. That's fine. Uh, they're still way better than these. 3.96 with 230 health. Or 6.9 with 500 health. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. For Android, so we have 10 Android Assault Armies. We also have a lot of minerals. And... I guess you're building. So I have 5,000. And we'll leave it at that. We have way too many resources right now. This is actually like a stupid amount of resources. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, build that cruiser assembly yard. Keep going. And then you... Well, but we'll upgrade all of our space stations. And then we'll be able to build the battleship assembly yard as well. 
be kind of hilarious if there was an army that just kind of appeared in the tennis sector. It's like, hey, by the way, they're here. Uh, these are the Tianki Space Whales, right? I guess we don't have to kill them. I was going to say, you know, we could kill them and uh, get more, more tech. But actually, we killed the tree guardians, and they gave us the tech of the, the Tianki Space Whales. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're over our naval capacity, and we're still fine. Jeez, this is crazy. At 35,000, I just, I gotta know. 35,000, what do our friends at the Curator Lambda Enclave think? The Enematic Fortress. How would we fare against it? Yours is a mighty fleet comparable to some of the greatest armadas according to the annals of the Curator Order. Victory is certainly within your reach. Alright, so we could kill this thing. That's, that would not be difficult. Alright, well, that's good to know. Hey, what do you know? They have battleships and 35... Why? Just curious question. Why is your fleet on my border when you're at war with people over here? Just random curious question. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. The best thing you do for the channel is share the video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Thank you, of course, to Amphit and Simon for being Patreon supporters. And I'll see you guys all next time with a little bit more Stellaris Utopia. We will eventually build in Zaldlor. Building right now, thank goodness. And we will be able to invade via Burr, take Shul, Duranma, and so vassalize good. some people. Yes, regenerative whole tissue. So good. The Ministry of Benevolence. Uh, yeah. That sounds great. All right. Now, I will do... Oh, geez. We're going that way. I will do this upgrade right now before anything else. The end of this episode. Because this upgrade is so freaking huge. Let's... Make sure our defense platforms are all nice and built. Otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll have more built and it'll be a bad time. So save. Because the, the sectors love to build defense platforms. So, want to make sure that we get those all nice and taken care of. Regenerative Holt issue may or may not be relevant to a transport ship or to a science ship. But... They're there anyways. However, what is relevant is the fact that we can get regenerative full tissues out and upgrade our hyperdrive and then look towards X-ray lasers as being our next choice of weaponry. Meanwhile, fill in maybe just some more armor. We'll be fine. Very good. All right, save that. So that's our new cruiser. Less shields, more armor, way more firepower. Destroyer is going to fall under the same category, I believe. We're going to get these x-ray lasers going, which increases our output by a lot. And, oh, that's perfect. More armor. Less shields, more armor. Which, honestly, I think is going to be beneficial. And you... Finally get something to fill in that gap. Okay, you need enough. You have, you have a lot that you need to upgrade here. So, let's give you a medium antimatter reactor. Better shields. Let's upgrade your x-ray lasers. Still want the shield sapping power of the energy siphon. And we still have quite a lot left over in power. So that's where we're going to be for our fleet. So the Corvettes have actually more shields than they did before. With more firepower. The, the Corvette is literally just better in every way now. Awesome. Okay. So that is now our new upgraded fleet design with regenerative hull tissue. I wish we could have the increased hull points instead. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about... Uh, filling in a slot that's effectively free. So, 
that's a pretty good deal. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys all next time as we go through Burr and DFTBA.